Well, that was a clip from the new documentary, Cue Ball, which is tonight on FS1. It's executive produced by Kevin Durant mm -hmm. and part of the Fox Sports Emmy-nominated Magnify series. It looks great. Skip, you know, this is a must-see. Are you looking forward to it? So here on FS1, we've had documentaries produ exactly produced by LeBron, Dwayne yeah. Wade, Kevin Durant, who spent some time with the Warriors who play for San Quentin. Right. And his name is stamped on this one. Sure. Yes, I am looking forward to this I'm, one. I'm looking forward to watching it also. And the gentleman said something very interesting. He said some of these guys did miss their calling, Skip. Sometimes mm -hmm. you make a wrong turn and you never get a chance to, to write it. Yep. But it's good to see that they have these opportunities mm -hmm. to let them play, let the mind go somewhere else other than thinking about hurting themselves or it. someone else. Yep. All right, looking forward to it. We'll all be checking that out later tonight. Let's move on, though, to one of Kevin Durant's teammates. Clay Thompson did not make an all-NBA team this season, but in the playoffs, he's averaging about 19 points a game while usually guarding the other team's top offensive player. His ability to be a dual threat drew high praise from his coach, Steve Kerr. Kerr said this, I think Clay has proven that in a playoff game, maybe there will be pushback on this, but in a playoff game, he's the best two-way guard in the league. You mm. can't tell me there's anybody better at that combination of locking up the opponent's best player and then going down on the other end and playing at a high level offensively. So, Skip. So, Jenny. What do you make of this? Huh. Interesting. Mm -hmm. So, let's see. There's this guy who plays for Toronto, where's number two. Mm. He's six feet, seven inches tall. So, Clay Thompson is six feet, seven inches tall. Mm -hmm. So, we have semantics about what positions they play, mm -hmm. but Clay's a guard. Is he a guard? Yeah, he's a guard. He's mm -hmm. a two guard. Yeah. Is the other guy a two guard? Yeah, he brings the ball up a lot for Toronto. No, he's, so, he's is it possible? Three. Well, is he? Is he yes. or is he not? Because <laughs> every big possession down the stretch, it seemed like number two dribbled the ball up the floor. Wouldn't that qualify him as more of a two guard? It seemed like he's playing on the perimeter a whole lot. Don't do that. Does skip. he post up? I don't know. Don't do that. Yeah. It yes. seemed like it seemed like Steve Kerr was trying to say, "Wait a second, I got a guy who has to play in the shadows of KD and Draymond and Steph. Right. And my guy is a lockdown perimeter defender. Now he doesn't weigh as much as number two does because the, even though they're six seven, I think he outweighs him maybe fifteen ish pounds. He's okay. listed at at more like. 230-ish, Clay's 215-ish. And one okay. guy have a first baseman meant for hands. Okay. Well, the other guy <laughs> will lock you up and spit you out. That's as what Giannis. he does. Uh, can let me ask you a question. Yeah. What do you think Clay Thompson could have done it, with Giannis? It, it was three on one. What? I like. Hold on. If I'm not mistaken, in all three of the game, mm -hmm. in all the games that the Bucks played, the Warriors mm -hmm. was Clay there? Hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, he was there. So I won't listen. So help me out on this. Okay, I'm, I'm who is the you. more explosive scorer between Clay Thompson and number two? The most explosive. Explosive. Who? Explosive. It's Clay Thompson. We've never seen. It's beyond Steph yes. explosive. Can, can we just detail some of the things he's done? Yes. Do you realize he scored 37 points in a quarter? That was on January something, January 23rd, 2015. Mm -hmm. At Sacramento, he scores. 37 in the third quarter. Have we seen in the history of the NBA anybody who could do that? No. Nobody can do that. So he scored 22 in the first quarter three times in his career. 26 once in the second quarter, 37 in the third, and 19 in the fourth three different times. Those are extraordinary, explosive numbers. And when he gets it going, as you know, the ball barely even touches the hands, and he just flicks it, and it goes in, right? Yes. It's just flick, barely, flick, barely. flick, Ooh, flick, flick. Great, great. Meanwhile, but he can't hold account of that guy. Since game five of the Philly series, it's a lot of games starting to pile up here now. Number two is shooting 26.5% from the three point line. Who knew? Who's counting? But if they, Nobody. If, if they, hold on. Huh. You see, Steve Kerr, I hope you mean point guards and mm. two guards. Oh. Because if you're talking about points, because most of the points are offensive. The Russells, the Hardens, the mm. Dame Lillards. Mm. If you're talking about defenders, you're talking mm. about Pat Beverly, guys of that nature. Mm. So if he means guards, guard. Point guard or two guard, hmm. Steve Kerr have at it. Hmm. I would never correct you, hmm. but I guarantee you hmm. this. Hmm. You ask 30 general managers mm -hmm. who's the best two-way player mm. out of Klay Thompson and Kawhi Leonard mm. and even uh, uh, the general manager for the Warriors, mm. Leonard, was mm. Bob Myers. Mm -hmm. Bob Myers will tell you mm. it's Kawhi and it's not close. Oh, really? Those two defensive you players, sure about the that? two defensive players of the you year, sure about that? tell you otherwise. Uh. The two first-team All-NBAs uh. tell you otherwise. 
Not really. The finals in, because hold on. Maybe it's mystique. Maybe no, maybe no, it's carryover from being a spur. No, maybe it, spurs get no, a little more acclaimed. He carried that over to be, ask Ben Simmons is a carryover. It's dynastic. Ask Ben Simmons. Ask how he got to join a ask, dynastic team. What right? the hell you think he played with? Uh, because well, Kawhi Leonard. He, he gets overshadowed. Uh, Kawhi Leonard. Yeah. Kawhi Leonard. Mm. If I'm not mistaken, uh, only Magic Johnson was younger, won Finals MVP at a mm. younger age, or at 20 and again. Do, do you remember what happened in that let Finals? Me, can do, I do you remember? Let me finish. Your, your team, your guy got blown off. Now. Wait a second. I'm talking, I'm, Point of order. Your guy got blown off the court by a record Finals margin. It could have gone to Marco Bellinelli. It could have been Patty Mills. I don't know what could have. Okay. I like to tell people okay. what did have. Okay. What did happen. My guy as the mm -hmm. fourth option your won guy? finals MVP. Now he's your guy. Call why? Yeah. Your guy is the fourth option. He's not my guy. Get I'm just to, telling get, you. Get to talk about how he, he didn't is, make all the NBA. He is extremely underrated. Skip, I, underrated because he gets lost in the I'm shuffle. Not, Skip, I'm not arguing that. Mm. He, no one in the history of the game, nobody's Who, had who's, any, who's the spearhead of their defense? Who he, he, he is, is? He is. No one could, no third option could do what this young mm -hmm. man can do. He got 60 points mm -hmm. in 29 minutes. You mentioned the 37 and a quarter. 37? No third option in Nobody the history of the game that. could give you that. Uh -uh. But it's hard-pressed for me to believe mm. that there's ever been a, it's hard to believe, Skip, yep. a better two-way player than O2. Really? O2? Well, guess what? Old two's going to get to go right up against number 11 because I think they're going to go head to head a whole lot. Well, uh, one plus we'll one equal two. Out. One plus one equal two. Really? And we'll see who had a better game. Uh, I tell you what, he uh, better hope Steph going off uh, because if two is on him, uh, he won't be going off. Really? Lock him. Uh, Giannis. Uh, Giannis, Giannis had a filed a motion with his lawyer. Uh, Can't get out of lock up. Hey. Lock him down. If Clay <laughs> gets that feeling going, flick, flick, flick. All of a sudden, it's like three, three, three. Where, where did that one come from? Yeah, hold on. So are we just going to are, are we just gonna just forget the first two and a half months of the season didn't happen? Hmm. You remember when he couldn't throw it in the Pacific? Mm -hmm. And then I remember when he could. Oh! I remember when the basket started looking like the Pacific. With, with my guy. With my guy. With my guy, he had no time off. Uh. He might take some time off, you know, mm. for load management. Mm. Uh. But, but they, everybody, they be looking at the schedule because they know he's not going to play back-to-back. -back. You realize like, in the closeout game... Six the other night at home, he should have been 0 for 8 from 3, your guy? Mm -mm. Number 2 should no, have been actually, 0 for 8. Actually, actually, he should have been 2. Oh. Because you said that one went all the way down, spin round and round. It's, that means it you missed. That wasn't bad luck. That was just a bad shot. It's offline. It's offline. He made one lucky shot where it hit the front of the rim, kissed off the backboard, and somehow dropped. Kawhi is a lot. I, I think they do. They adjust those That's rims. Shooters, shooters touch. Is it I possible had they have some you remote control of the rims where you can you loosen that. it up? Skip, you know that? Yeah. I had a I touch like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I skip. Touch like that. I think you had plumbers if touch. It, if it wouldn't. Yeah. Don't do that, Skip. Uh -huh. If it wouldn't uh -huh. switch the net, I tell the rim. If it don't switch the net, spit it out. Uh -huh. All that, and go in. No, I didn't want that. Is that right? Yeah, I wouldn't want it. It's switch. Mm. Selective memory. Wow. Swish it. Really? Okay. Yep. You know Skip, what? but you need to stop. You and well, Steve you, Kerr. Steve Kerr said, I know there's going to be some pushback you because he knew where this it. was headed. Exactly. And you got pushback. Yep. You're going to get pushed over talking crazy, Steve really? Kerr. And I like, I feel like, it's like Steve Kerr, I really like him. I mm -hmm. like him as an analyst. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I like Steve. Made big shots, saved Michael Jordan's career. But, I mean, legacy. Career. Saved yeah. his legacy. Him and John Paxson. But that's none of my business. That's not what we're talking about right now, Jamie. But, that guy right there, Skip? Yeah. He can't mess with Claw. Really? He can't mess with Claw. Mm. Two defensive players a year yeah. says otherwise. Look, obviously, Steve Kerr is lobbying to keep Clay yeah. in house. Yeah, yeah okay then. Level of that. But, don't, but don't, 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 do high, don't do hyperbole. Yeah. Just say, we love Clay. He's home. You hold. know what I love about this? We get to find out because they actually play against each other starting Thursday night. Claw will back him night. down. Really? Claw back him down. He, he bet that's all he's got is back. Black him down. down to shoot that. Yeah. We'll see. Really? We'll see. Plenty to look forward Ask to. Ask about it. Ask Ben Simmons. Mm. Skip, you remember Ben Simmons had 11 turnovers? Couldn't get the ball past half ben court. Simmons has no shot. Giannis has Simmons. no shot. Well, what about his dribbling? Uh, no shot. What about his dribbling? Okay. They've got a lot that. to think about in the offseason. Hey, Kawhi got to be going up. Yeah. Hey, Kawhi. We We're going to switch gears, guys. Uh, we have actor Jaleel White. He here has we go. a new show in which yep. he plays Muhammad Ali, and he is it here is to talk about it. Yep. So we'll get his